Thanks for joining us for today's video. Um, today we're going to be showing you how to measure a custom me measure a bass string for replacement to order be ordering a custom bass string. Um, when a bass string breaks, um, the the diameter of the winding, the diameter of the core, the length of the winding, and the length from the from what the hitch pin loop. Uh, to the start of the winding. Those are all unique to that individual string, which varies from one piano to another. So it's not like you can say, well, I need, um, I need the, the lowest C on the piano, because that uh, those measurements are going to vary from one model of piano to another. So what you need to do is take measurements of the broken string uh, in order to, if you're going to get a custom bass string replacement, you can't always get a universal bass string uh, replacement, but um, Really, uh, getting a custom-made one is um, is going to provide you with a better string and a better sound. So we're going to show you, walk you through today how to how to take the measurements, so that uh, you can get uh, get the proper um, proper string made for your piano. Here, what I've done, I've uh, you, you can use any kind of paper, but um, to take your measurements. But what I've done is I've just uh, rolled out a, a, a length of um, paper towel here to make my make my measurements. You can try to measure the string but sometimes it's difficult because the there's usually a some kind of a curve to the string and so getting it straightened out while you're trying to measure, measure it uh, can be difficult. Now the first measurement that you want to take, take is the distance from the hitch pin loop which is uh, this is the end that goes on the the hitch pin which is the pin at the farthest end away from the tuning pin. Um, so from that loop to the start of the winding, okay, as you can see here, there's a there's a, a thinner wire, which is your what's called your core wire, and then here it starts the um, the winding, okay, and this one's actually got a, a double wrap, uh, one thinner wrap and then a, a thicker one. So um, what we're going to do is you want to measure from the first measurement is going from the end of the hitch pin loop, right where the hitch pin hooks on and then goes to the start of the winding which is right here okay so what i'm going to do um and then and then uh, from there we're going to measure the length of the winding okay so for the length from where the winding starts all the way to the other end where the where the winding ends and where the 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 core wire comes back out uh, showing at the other at the other end of the wire okay so what i'm going to do is my first mark I'm going to mark on the on the paper, make sure my paper is stretched out all the way. Um, I'm just going to take a, a marker here and make a mark right at the end up here at the end of the hitch hitch pin loop. Okay, and then keeping it keeping it stretched out, holding it in place, I'm going to make my next mark. If I can move my hand out of the way so you can see, um, right here, where the where the length of the winding starts, I'm gonna make a little line there. Okay, and then um, I'm gonna hold that in place and try to move my camera here so you can see when I start to move down. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just hold that wire in place with the paper. I'll try to keep it as straight as I can and come all the way down here to the other end and take my marker and I'm going to make another mark here at the end of the winding where the winding winding stops. Okay now the length of the wire after that is really um, unimportant because they're when they send you that when we send you the string um, you know, once it's been made, that that length, that end of that wire is going to be much longer than you need. Uh, the purpose for that is you could just take it to where you need to cut it off, and generally you take cut it off about two and a half inches beyond the tuning pin. Once it's hooked on to the hitch pin, strung through the the bridge, uh, through a graph or whatever it is at this end, um, and then uh, pull that tight and then measure it when you go to install the string measure about two and a half inches beyond the tuning pin 
and then cut it off there and then hook it onto the, or coil it onto the tuning pin, which we show how to do that in another video. But here, once we've made our um, measurements, then it's um, on the on our paper or paper towel as I have here. Uh, then it's much easier to make make the measurements. Then what we can do is take and we'll take our measurement from the hitch pin to the start of the winding, which uh, in this case is five and a quarter inches. Then we're going to measure from this, the length of the winding, which would be our point here, to the other end, which ends up being, let's see, 53 and 7 eighths. Okay, and so you can, you can go to the closest eighth or uh, eighth inch is usually um, the closest eighth inch is usually is usually best. That's what we see the most most commonly, anyways. So fifty three and seventy. So that's that's the, taking the two measurements that are um, uh, hitch pin to wi winding, and then the length of the winding. The other two measurements that uh, that we're going to need in order to to make a custom base string is for you is is the diameter of the core wire. To, to measure the core wire you would use a micrometer. You can use a caliper too if you've got one, but it, either either uh, way you've got to have a tool that measures to the nearest one thousandths of an inch, so 0 0.001 inch uh, increments. Um, so like this one as you can see has uh, 0 0.001 in, inch increments. Um, so what we're going to do here is uh, put the wire, and we show more detailed instructions on another video on how to take measurements of a of a wire. But you can see this one is um, 27, 27 thousandths. I don't know if you can see that on there, but like I say, we have another video that shows that in more detail. So that would be 27 thousandths of an inch, or 0 0.027 inches. And then the diameter of the winding is hundred and sixty nine thousandths, okay, or point one six nine inches. Okay, so taking those measurements, those uh, that would be for this string. This is off an old upright piano that uh, the string broke on it. Uh, needs a new string, so th that's uh, what what uh, you need to do. It uh, take the measurements properly uh, for ordering a, a custom bass string um, from us, and we have um, those fields in our in our store um, that you can just fill in when you go to place your order. Um, but if you have any questions, feel free to visit our website. It's howardpianoindustries.com.